Welcome everybody to Universe Sandbox. Today we're gonna to be doing your guys' suggestions. So go ahead and click that link and submit a suggestion. Then we will do random number generator to see what we do in the game. Suggestion was make a black hole moon. So let's uh let's put a black hole moon around Earth. Let's do random small moon, and then we'll have to crush this down to be a black hole. So we're just gonna change the density up, uh, unlock the mass, yeah. So we're just making it more and more dense. Okay, it is now only one, less than one kilometer big. You gotta crush it really, really small to get black hole level of density. Seven centimeters. Oh my, how big was this moon? Okay, 0 0.08 millimeters. And now it has finally turned into a black hole. We can't even look at it because it's so small. Um, but there is a black hole moon now and the mass should be the same. So it should stay in orbit around Earth. Pretty much the same. Let's watch it over time. You can see the orbit. Very much the same. And the mass is, what's it compared to the moon? It's pretty much the same size as Earth's moon. All right, there's our black hole moon. That's pretty cool. What would happen though, if we just zero the velocity and have it run into earth? So let's go motion and then speed zero. So it should fly into earth now, I think. It has the same mass as the moon. So even though it's like less than a millimeter big. Oh, did it eat earth? What? What is wrong? I think universe sandbox caused it. Did you see that? The game just crashed. What? What? Um, all right, <laughs> here we are. Okay, here, let me get the random number generator. Okay, we now have, how many suggestions? 87. All right, one to 87, let's do it. 87, go. 42, let's see what 42 is. Terraform Venus and give it a moon. So it's gonna be like Earth, we can do that. Here we are at Venus. Hopefully the game works now. So to terraform Venus, this is the old style of terraforming now, which I have had a lot more experience in. Make a small asteroid moon for realism. Yeah, we could we could do that. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is reduce the atmosphere mass because the reason Venus is so hot is because the atmosphere is so thick. It's like global warming times a million. So reduce this to like the level of Earth. We can start to see the surface because we removed most of the atmosphere. So that's gonna be a big step bring some water onto the surface we want decent coverage maybe a little even more like this to get most of it covered just like earth our temperature is probably still pretty hot 462 so i'm gonna set it to 15 and we might want to reduce the atmosphere layers also which you do right here right yeah to just one and what does that put us at 30 percent already another thing that is actually more important than you would think is the rotational period because Venus is almost tidally locked. Like it takes a really, really long time for it to rotate. What's good for life is to have it rotate a lot quicker. So you get that day night cycle. Give it an artificial magnetic field. Does it not have a natural one? Let's see. Magnetic field. Oh, it doesn't have one. Okay. Let's give it one and we should be able to see it. Here we go. So we're giving it a magnetic field to protect it from the solar radiation. What's the strength of Earth's magnetic field? I actually have no idea. Uh, that looks pretty good though. I mean, that looks like a good size. Also put some vegetation on it, right? Yeah. All right. This is looking good. 86% chance of life now. So this is almost as high as Earth. Make it not upside down so it doesn't rotate to the left. Oh, you want me to, to go like this? Make it rotate the other way. We'll give it a slight tilt too, like Earth, so it has seasons. Cause it looked like pretty straight up. Okay, that'll give it seasons too. 86% chance of life. Add the moon, grr. Okay, we'll do a small asteroid moon, right? Just random small moon, or do we want even smaller? That's like too small. Just get one that's not super spherical, maybe. All right, that's a pretty cool looking moon. I think that kind of matches Venus. There's a terraform Venus with a little moon. Uh, Nice suggestion, I like that one. Random number generator, okay. We now have 94 responses, so we'll go 1 to 94. 82. All right, what's 82? Make Europa and Titan habitable. So Europa is one of Jupiter's moons, so let's go to Jupiter. We'll do it in the same system. Here it is. Uh, this one's covered in ice, right? So what would happen if all I did was melt all the ice? Water world. Okay, let's let's keep it like water world. So it's gonna have these big oceans on it. The average temperature is way too low. So let's add an atmosphere really quick. Atmosphere mass. Let's try one earth, but that's probably too thick. Because what's our mass? The radius is about 25% of Earth. So let's make this a little lower. Uh, about 25% of Earth's atmosphere. All right, and then we definitely need to heat it up a little bit. So let's put it at 15, and then we probably need some more atmosphere layers or something. Oh, look, it's shedding. Okay, you have to add a tiny bit of hydrogen to make sure it keeps its atmosphere for some reason. I don't know how realistic that is, but yeah, if you're terraforming smaller objects, it, if you add a little bit of hydrogen, that'll stop the atmosphere from just leaving. We need to add a few atmosphere layers just to help with its greenhouse effect to give it good temperature. 
All right, what's our life likelihood with that? 4.8. Um, I want it to have a better looking atmosphere, something like that. So this is gonna be a fully water world. Let's give it some clouds too. Yeah, yeah. We're at 4.8. We could probably change the rotational period a little bit. This might help it. Change it to one day so it just rotates a little quicker. 6% now. All right, that's decently terraformed. It's really hard to terraform moons. Okay, there's a terraformed Europa. I mean, mildly terraformed. I probably could get it higher, but you would have to change some more stuff. And I don't want it to be too different. Okay, so there's Saturn with its rings. And then Titan is going to be all the way out here. So it does have an atmosphere. How thick? It's pretty thick, I think. A little too thick. I'm gonna turn it down so we can start to see a little bit of the surface like this. And then bring up the sea level covered in some water like that. And this is a very ugly colored atmosphere. So let's uh, make it a little better looking. 9% chance of life. That's pretty good. And we could also bring up the temperature <laughs> instead of negative 183, give it 15. And that'll put us pretty high, I think. 18 on Titan's really good. Um, and how How's our temperature going? It's looks like it's heating up a little bit. Um, okay, here, this will be the prediction. Can I get it above 20% chance of life? Cause it's 18 right now. I won't change the mass. So I'll try to keep it the same. It's hard to get moon um, life likelihood high. Um, I think one of the easiest ones would be what? Change rotational period. I mean, it might do it just from that. <laughs> now it's 30. <laughs> Sorry to the one person that said, no, you lost your chips. All right, there's a terraformed Titan and a terraformed Europa and this system now has a terraform Venus too because we're in the same system uh we're just making a whole terraform system now it looks like <laughs> okay random number generator how many things we got now oh, we got a hundred responses here we go number eight one of the early ones crash Pluto into Saturn's moon Titan after we just terraformed it that's crazy so we're going back to Titan and we're gonna crash Pluto into it that's crazy I know that's what what are the chances Titan here we are we're gonna throw Pluto into Titan uh wait 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 before we do that our life likelihood is at 30 percent here the predict we're gonna write a prediction will it set life likelihood to zero do you think it will completely kill Titan did the game crash what bro what it just disappeared game hates you I know uh, well, we didn't save that system. So let me really quickly do another uh, Titan Terraform um, just to get it similar life likelihood. And then we will throw Pluto into it. I don't know why Universe Sandbox is having issues today. Okay, that puts us back at 28. So a little bit less, but that's pretty close. So the prediction was, will it set the life likelihood to zero? 12% says yes, 88% says no. So we'll watch it. If it ever hits zero, it is a yes. We'll watch it in real time. Well, not real time, but slow time. Pluto versus Titan. Here we go. I think it might just because Titan's so small. Okay, here we are. We're watching this thing right here. If this hits zero, then it killed Titan. Here it comes. All right, all right. Let's watch it, watch it. If it hits zero, here it goes. Here it goes. <gasps> oh. oh, it's already rising again. All right. Yeah, it looks like Titan will survive. That was crazy. I thought it was going to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It did. Wait, <laughs> I already ended it though. What? What? How did it do it after? Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, it didn't immediately, but it did. Give me back my chips. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way to undo it. <laughs> Uh, next suggestion. Uh, I need random number generator. Um, how many suggestions now? There's 111. You guys keep typing them. 92. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> I'm not doing that one. <laughs> okay, we do this one. The one right above it. Make a spaceship moon and make a Winston moon and a David moon that orbit the spaceship planet. So the spaceship is the planet. All right, man. Okay, we're making a spaceship planet. Let's do a, a sun and then we'll do random rocky planet. We'll put it out here. Pretty big planet, actually. For a spaceship planet, we should make it like the, the spaceship colors. We'll make it like blue and yellow. That is the ugliest color yellow I think I've ever seen. Okay, so this is spaceship. Just make the atmosphere white, maybe like that. Reduce water so land is more visible, like that. And then I think these are, it's got some ice on it too. What's our life likelihood? 30%, nice. And I didn't really change any of the settings besides visual stuff. Yellow sea. Wait, you want the ocean to be yellow? I feel like that would look so weird. Hey, actually, that kind of looks cool. Spaceship planet, and then what was the suggestion? Make a Winston moon and a David moon. All right, I don't know, I don't know about the David moon, but we, we can do a Winston moon. All right, random moon. All right, Winston, what do you want your planet to look like? Well, I'll try to make it look like him. He's kind of like a light mixed with almost like a gray, but that's like a bluish gray. I don't know how, oh, it's because of this. It's more of like a brownish gray. <laughs> Does that look like him? <laughs> 
All right, there's the Winston planet, and then we're supposed to do a David one. Um, here, really small moon all the way out here, and I will not, I'll make it look like the ugliest little moon ever. Oh, it already is, look at that. There you go, there's your David moon. All right, next suggestion. Uh, how many now? 115. Add rings to Mercury until it reaches the sun, and then it also says, make Slowex server owner, I have sniper on you in Minecraft for legal reasons. All right. <laughs> Add rings to Mercury until it reaches the sun. We can do that. We're gonna need some pretty big rings on this. Is it even gonna be able to support that many rings? It's kind of small. Let's put some rings on Mercury. Let me see what like Saturn's rings would look like. So that's Saturn's rings. We need it to reach all the way out to the sun. So we're gonna need some bigger rings. Uh, it's from the radius of the object. Outer radius. What's the distance between Mercury and the sun? Let's Google it. Distance between mercury and sun 43 million miles all right give me kilometers 46 million kilometers so if we set this to 46 000 000 000, there we go we added uh mercury rings out to the sun uh we have 121 84 the one right before it wait did we already do this one it says make europa and titan habitable i think we already did that one 112 make jewel and its moons all right last suggestion make jewel and its moons okay we're gonna add a planet nine to the system here we're gonna make jewel from kerbal space program so let me look up jewel so it's very green it looks like this so i'm gonna try to copy like this one all right let's put some bands on it it's already kind of green it's got green and it's almost like like a dullish green kind of like all right there's jewel i don't know what the moons are called but i'm just gonna give it the moons i know it has like five three four five so there's its five moons the moons are lathe val pole tylo and bob okay thanks i'll put those on lathe val pole tylo and bob thank you all for coming subscribe if you haven't goodbye